The 10 day break is over and Seattle Rain FC is ready to return to the pitch Wednesday night. The Washington Spirit are in town. Kickoff set for 7 p.m. right here at Memorial Stadium as the club aims to remain unbeaten in 2014. I initially starting the 10 days, I was kind of thinking it was going to be take forever to get to the next game, but uh, it's actually kind of blown by. I think we're all uh, recovered and, and ready to go for tomorrow. Yeah, we can't wait. I think um, we said straight after the Boston game that these these next 10 days were going to be crucial for us in terms of training and uh, the girls have worked hard and yeah, ready to go for tomorrow. Washington comes to Seattle fresh off a 3-1 win against FC Kansas City over the weekend. The Spirit finished at the bottom of the table in 2013 and have revamped their roster with new talent. That includes former Rain FC midfielder Christine Nairn, who was one of two players to start all 22 games in 2013 for Seattle. It's always good to see uh, the players that were formerly on the Rain, so I think we're all excited to see them and, and you know be friendly before the game, after the game. But you know when it's you know when we're on the field, you know it's, it's always going to be a battle. So yeah, it'd be great to see her. I hope she I hope she doesn't punish us. But uh, no, I mean Christine Nairn's a great player. Um, she was part of the trade that enabled us to get Kim, um, and it was a tough call to be honest. Uh, Christine was fantastic for us last season, and I think you've seen that with Washington this year. I've got, I'm not surprised at all that she's probably been one of their best players in the last couple of games, and I won't be surprised tomorrow if she's their best player because she's got talent. And yeah, it'd be nice to see her, nice to catch up because she's a great girl. Um, but yeah, I hope that she doesn't have the game of her life tomorrow for sure. 2014 first overall pick Crystal Dunn is another key cog in Washington's lineup. Dunn has already shown she's ready to contribute at the professional level, tallying two assists against FC Kansas City. She's incredibly skilled, incredibly fast, um, maybe one of the fastest, quickest players uh, in, in the U.S. right now. So uh, just, just as far as her overall athleticism, she adds a huge threat. Uh, but not only that, but she's a, you know, she has a soccer mind. So um, on top of her athleticism, I think that you know, she's dangerous when she has the ball because she knows where she wants to go and what she wants to do with it. I actually think it's quite tough being the first round draft pick because everyone's looking at you um, and I know she's had an injury in the off season just prior to pre-season which kept her out of the national team fixtures but I think she's proven in the especially the Kansas game that she's a talent and uh, you know no matter what position she plays I'm sure for now there's not really anyone's defined where she is going to play long term but you know the position she's played for Washington she caused the opposition problem so yeah we're definitely aware of her and uh, I think she's got I think she's got a bright future the same as Christine then. The 10 day hiatus between games has Laura Harvey anticipating that all of the national team stars will be ready for kickoff. We've been in a position to manage all of our national team players. Um, some of them haven't trained as much as we'd like, but they're all fit and healthy, ready to go for tomorrow. I think that's crucial for us that we can get our national team players on the field. Um, I think they they were a big difference between us winning the game against Boston and and we're glad that we can get you know Pino, Sid and uh, Hope and Steph out on the field um, for the next game. With both teams wanting to prove last season is in the past, tomorrow night's tilt at Memorial Stadium should have plenty of intensity. They handed us one of our losses last year, one of our last losses uh, at Maryland um, against against us, and I think that a lot of us still kind of have that loss in our minds that um, you know we were kind of upset about. Um, so I think that you know we're going to have that competitive edge tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be a different game from Washington Seattle last year, where it was you know we were fighting for our lives at the bottom. I think both these teams have got the talent and ability to really compete in this league, and I think I think that you know sets up for a great match.